Hello everyone. Thought I would check out the Dynasty Warriors Origins news with you guys. I watched this on the State of Play live on stream and I just barely got back in time because I was out being a responsible adult and uh, taking care of errands. But I have a couple things to say about it and first we're going to go ahead and watch the trailer piece by piece. But I think this is actually a soft reboot, meaning that uh, you can see Cheng Pu over there in the left hand side. I think that they're going to be reusing a lot of the models, but this is basically going to be like a soft reboot so that they don't have the burden of having like 300 characters in the game anymore, <laughs> which I, I personally think is a good thing. I, I know it's going to disappoint a lot of people, but I think that they're going for a create a character angle because it will allow them to go back to the beginning of the story, not necessarily have to cover the entire history, and then also have a smaller roster. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer. I promise this video won't be half an hour long. I'm not going to analyze 20 seconds of gameplay for half an hour. <laughs> We're going to keep it under control here. Soldiers and officials alike oppress the people for personal gain. And the people must turn to thievery for food. Perhaps this is heaven's way of lamenting the state of the land. Men are powerless at the feet of the divine. But even so, someone must act. Okay, so John Dynasty Warriors here is a creative character, so he won't be playing as, like, I guess mainline officers for the most part. He'll be playing as uh, John Dynasty Warriors, which I think is a good thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that. I gotta play that again. There's actually a couple things to analyze here. I'll turn this down a little bit. There's actually a couple things to analyze here from the gameplay that they show. So you're seeing him command an army. They're taking advantage of the new hardware to have that. Seeing right here he does like a Tatsu and then he switches weapons, so maybe there's gonna be like a weapon switch mechanic or something. Right here, you can see young Cao Cao, so it seems like they're doing an origin story but from a different perspective. But yeah, the combat looks pretty clean. It's very clearly redone. So I guess they're scrapping everything from Dynasty Warriors 9, which was pretty predictable. Uh, I honestly kind of saw that coming. I saw that coming when Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires did not have any declones. As you know, historically, with the Empires games, they tend to declone at least a couple officers, but they didn't do that in 9 Empires. You remember how upset I was when Soon Se was shown in the... Uh, Nine Empires trailer, and he still had that lame pizza cutter. <laughs> so I guess we're going back to scratch, back to scratch with the uh, the new combat engine and everything. I guess the engine is new, and the combat is new, and everything. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do in terms of how much is covered. I really think that this is a way to reduce, re release them from the burden of having so many playable characters. You know, they have like 120 characters in Dynasty Warriors Nine, and it's just. Obviously, it was too hard to give all of them unique movesets, and some of them aren't really playable for long outside of free mode, like, you know, Soon Jian and his children <laughs> aren't playable for very long for the most part. So, you know, it's kind of pointless to give them unique movesets, but then there's characters, people that really like those characters, and, uh, you know, you don't want to make them a clone either. Just as there's no way to please everybody. Uh, I'm actually cautiously optimistic right now. The combat actually looks quite fun. I am kind of concerned about the performance, but as you can see here, it is going to be coming to Steam, and as we all know, I just upgraded my computer earlier this week, so <laughs> uh, I'm going to be playing this frame one. I hope that I'll get a review key, but uh, in any case, it's coming in 2025. Uh, generally, big Musou games tend to come out in like, the first quarter of the year, so it's probably about eight months away. Um, in terms of Musou being back on a resurgence, I actually think we'll probably hear about some Switch 2 Musou games in the near future. Obviously, they can't announce them right now because the Switch 2 is not officially announced, but I think that this is probably one of the reasons why their Musou has been kind of dead for a while. I think that they're actually putting a considerable amount of effort into this. It's going to be interesting to see how they approach 
uh, content, more specifically post-launch content. It doesn't really seem like this is going to go all the way to the Jin Dynasty, and that like the roster and probably move set selection is going to be a lot smaller. But you're going to have a creative character. There's going to be some really cool stuff that you can do with that, and then. Uh, it seems like they're recycling a lot of the Dynasty Warriors 9 designs, so uh, if they do want to repurpose those movesets and make them playable, uh, I guess they could do it that way, or maybe they will expand upon, like, different parts of the Three Kingdoms era with, like, DLC. Like, maybe they'll do, like, Late Wu or Jin or Late Shu or something like that, and then, like, maybe add, like, a couple more playable characters, and then, like, maybe, like, endgame content or weapons or whatever. But, yeah, it's kind of hard to really parse a whole lot. It's mostly just that the gameplay... Actually looks quite solid. Let's go back and watch this one more time. Someone must act. Frame rate looks pretty bad in the trailer. <laughs> Hope it's gonna be a good PC port, but I guess with my new graphics card maybe I won't have this problem. But yeah, you can see like right here, there's like a, a like a flash. And then he does like a weapon switch, so. Maybe you're going to be able to carry like two or three weapons or something, but as you can see here, he's got the standard spear, he's got the bow, got martial arts, so I'm covered. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty sick. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. How do you feel about uh, potentially not having a lot of the characters being playable and having it be more of a focus on playing? your own personal John or Jane Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> I actually think it's going to be pretty cool because you won't really be bound to a particular moveset. Uh, maybe it'll be somewhat like Xenoverse, or maybe you'll train under some of the actual named officers and they'll give you moves or extra properties or something. I think there's going to be a lot of potential here, but with this only, like, 90-second trailer, it's really hard to parse what the game is exactly going to be, but I think this is the breath of fresh air we desperately needed because... Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors are kind of soft-locked right now. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed, they have so many clones in Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors that they can't even make a new Orochi or anything. Everything is just kind of soft-locked because of the clones. So I think this is their way of like, hey, we're, we're still going to do Dynasty Warriors, but it's going to be, you know, rebooted. You're going to be playing it from a different perspective. You'll have a lot more customization. The combat is going to be new, and they won't have the burden of, like, 120 playable characters. So, I'm definitely excited. Hopefully, we'll get some more concrete information about it soon. Uh, when that happens, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and post your thoughts in the comments.